Okay, welcome everyone. Here we are. About to do a meditation on the month of Adar and the energies of Adar. I'd like to remind everyone to turn off any devices that you have in your environment that might disturb you. Also, I would like to warn you that I do have a dog in my room and he is sleeping right now. There is always a possibility that he might wake up and bark. So if you do hear that, please don't let it disturb you. And so if we can sit up in our chairs with our feet firmly planted on the ground and cross your arms and legs so that you're comfortable. I like to place my hands facing up in my, on my legs in order to receive. And if you're comfortable, go ahead and close your eyes. What I'd like us to do first is to bring our attention, our awareness to our breath. Connect our, our minds to our physical bodies. Allow yourself to take a very complete, full, deep inhale. If you'd like, you can put your hand on your abdomen and feel it expand. And exhale completely all the air out of your lungs. And a nice deep inhalation. And as you do this, maybe visualize breathing in the joy of Naomi Gila's dance as you see it in your mind's eye. And then exhale and send that joy and that simcha back out to Naomi Gila, out to your friends, your environment, your family. Breathe that in. Let it come into every part of your body, deep in your lungs. And send it out again. And this time, let it wrap around the world to everybody in the world that could use some extra joy right now. Let's bring our attention now, allowing our bodies to relax, starting at the top of our heads. For some reason, I just got an image. As a child, we used to play a game where you would crack an egg on your head, imagining it just flowing down. I know I used to get shivers as a child, but just that image of just melting. Letting your forehead relax. Your cheeks your jaw, let your tongue float in your mouth. If you'd like, you can do a few gentle neck rolls, releasing, melting away any tightness. Allow your shoulders to drop down your arms, your hands, warm and relaxed, your chest, your upper back, your lower back, your abdomen, your hips, your legs. And if you notice any tension that doesn't want to leave, it's okay. Just acknowledge it and then just move on. Allow your knees to be relaxed, your lower legs and your feet. And with your feet on the ground, 
Just be aware of this connection to the physical of earth, the environment, nature. If there's a place that you love to visit in nature, you can bring that image into your mind right now. Notice all the sights and the sounds and the smells. If you're in the mountains, you might smell the pine trees. If you're by the ocean, you might smell the salty air. And allow yourself to just be in that space. Feel the warm sun on your back. Let's bring our awareness now to brilliant blue sky. And visualize an incredible beam of light, almost iridescent, coming down into the top of your head, into your keter, moving down to your heart, and see this light pumping through your heart, spreading out into your entire body, moving through your bloodstream, reaching to the tips of your fingers and the tips of your toes. It's our connection to Hashem, to divine awareness, unconditional love, our inner knowing, our hidden self, our true self, our higher self. Bring this light into your spinal column. Let it move through your nervous system, into your muscles so that every movement you make is powered by this divine awareness and connection. And just take a moment to feel this incredible consciousness. Allow yourself to be wrapped in it as if it's flowing down like a waterfall and reaching around you like your favorite blanket. Let yourself melt so that you don't know where this light separates from you. You are one with this incredible light and awareness. And while we're here, let's bring in the the ideas that we discussed today. Let's create a bubble of water around us. As if we're floating or swimming with gills to breathe like the Pisces fish hidden yet visible. Protected and buoyant. Glowing as our hiddenness, that inner self shines out. as we allow ourselves to remove our masks, our externalities, and we connect to our inner knowing and our inner self. Let's create an intention right now to connect with everybody here. 
everybody that's on this call and everyone that listens to it in the future to know that we are all connected, that we vibrate together. And let's have the intent to do that in a place of receiving and listening with joy Take a moment to visualize what that joy looks like. Right now I'm thinking of Naomi Gila doing the happy dance. Also connecting to how it felt to do that dance. Moving my body, listening to the music. Perhaps you can think of another time when you felt so much joy. So much simcha. Maybe start with a time that was an external joy. And bring it into your mind. Where were you? I think of when I gave birth to my children, the look on their faces when they actually saw me. The joy came from outside, but it really became inside. It could be when you met your significant other, it could be celebration, a wedding. It could be when you adopted or purchased a pet. The unconditional love that they give to us and the joy. So think about where you were. Bring that scene into your mind completely. Notice who was there, where you were. If there are any smells, what were you hearing? Now take a moment to think about a time when you felt joy inside. What was it that gave you that sensation? And where did you feel it in your body? What did it feel like? Did it have a color or shape? Take a moment to bask in that memory. Now, let's think about a time of joy that you'd like to create. Is it something that you want to accomplish? It could be through meditation, the state of Devekas connecting with Hashem and with your Das Elion, your higher self. It could be an external accomplishment
It could involve just being with people. It's been a long time since we could do that. I imagine the joy of being able to see my parents and, and hug them after over a year. So bring it into your mind and give it color, give it action. Notice where you are, who is there, and especially be aware of what that feels like inside. And if you have trouble coming up with an image or an idea, perhaps ask Hashem to show you or tell you. How can you bring more joy into your life this week, this month? And just listen knowing that whatever you receive is meant for you. And if you don't hear anything or see anything, it's okay. Just be aware. Perhaps ask Hashem right now, what is it that you can do to raise your own vibration? To nurture yourself, to bring more simcha to yourself as well as to others. Is there something in this month that Hashem wants you to know, to focus on, to bring more happiness and more gratitude into your life? Let's take a moment now to give gratitude to each other here, to our connection, to Hashem for bringing us together, to have the opportunity to study and learn together, to meditate together, to bring more joy into our lives with each other and with ourselves. As well as out into the world. And take a moment if there's anything else that you'd like to say or ask. And once you're ready, you can slowly bring yourself back into the physical environment, becoming aware of any sounds, sights around you. Well, not sights yet, but just sounds. Just being aware of your body, of your space. You can wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe move your shoulders a little. 
slowly. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and open your eyes.